Welcome to another QuickBooks video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to raise and create customer invoices. Now I'm going to take my time on this because I don't want to lose any of you. And out of the many features on QuickBooks, this is more complicated than adding customers or editing, editing customer accounts. To create an invoice for, for a customer, we can use the action column, find the customer and click create invoice. We can also go into the customer account, go to the top right, click on the drop down list and click on invoice. No matter which option we use, we're taken to the same screen, which is the invoice and screen, which is this screen here. You'll notice the company name is filled in automatically and so is the customer billing address. The reason being we've used the create invoice for this specific customer. We have an option to change the payment terms. It's currently at net 30, there's net 15 and net 60 or due on receipt. If you want to add more payment terms, just click the add new and you can add new payment terms, such as a fixed number of days, certain day of the month, and other options. If you fill in these details and click save, it, the new terms will be saved to the system so you can recall them each time you raise an invoice. Let's do net 30. The invoice date by default is also is always set on today's date. So it's the 2nd of October today. So the 2nd of October is the invoice date. We can change the invoice date by clicking the calendar in the box and choosing an alternative. The due date is calculated by the terms that we entered but you can also change the due date once again by clicking on that calendar and finding your date. With each invoice we have a option for a product or service, we have a description of the product or service provided, quantity, rate and amount. And I'll go through this a number of times so you can get to grips with raising invoices on QuickBooks. If we click in product, click on the drop down list, you'll notice there are a number of products or services set by default on QuickBooks. It's likely that you'll just be able to use sales as the product or service. If you're looking for specific products or services for specific invoices then scroll to the top and click add new and because there will be a good portion of you who will want to use different products and services for different invoices I'll show you how to add a new product or service so click add new you'll then have a product or service information appear the name I'm going to put in as sales2, but obviously name this as you wish for your business. Put in a description for sales2, so I'm going to put in other income, And then you have the option to enter a price rate and then you have an income account. 99% of the time this will just be sales. But some of you may want to add shipping to an invoice. Click on the drop down list and shipping is available. If you scroll to the top 
and bottom. There are other options, but ensure that the account that you're going to use is an income account that is on the right. When you're happy, click save and close. Our new product or service will now appear in this drop down list. So we have sales to the description that we put in for sales to will appear in the description. So let's add a lover and let's do an example that is a bit more realistic this time. So let's add new, let's do sales and then in brackets north. So I may have a business that covers a large geographical area and I want to track sales per geographical area. So we can have sales north and then the description, I'm just going to put sale. Sales income is fine. Save and close. I'm then going to add another sales box for sales south. Once again, I'm just going to put sale but there may be more detail that you want to add to the description on your invoices. I'm happy with sales as the income account. Click save and close. I now have an option to enter just general sales, sales for the north and sales for the south. Please click on the link to go to the next video.